This video is about how I organize my scrapbooking and project life supplies into these cards. Not everything that I use is into these cards, but a lot of my project supplies are basically here. I'm gonna try to fit this all into the frame here, but it's it's kind of hard. The setting in the iPhone for video really zooms in, so I'm gonna do my best. So here's my desk, and one cart goes in there and the other one piles up right here. But when I am crafting, I like to put them around me like so. So let's go over this cart here. This is more so my Project Life cart. Up here are all my Project Life cards. Yep, and that is all of them that are in kits. I made these little tab cards using the packaging that they came from. Just or made some tabs here. I don't have a tab punch, but that would be super useful. And just put who's it from, what what company is it from and what the collection is called and if it's a value kit then i will put it all together if it is a core kit which comes with like three cards of the same card you can practically make a whole album just using a core kit then i will take it apart and store the three by four cards in one section and the four by six cards in another section and then organize them by collection what i have to store them in i use the containers that also come with the kits so definitely reuse the packaging it comes with on the side here is my simple stories templates and whoops i pick these really quick when i can't find my uh, paper trimmer or it's out of reach i usually just grab one of these and uh, trim a photo or make a card really quick. So that's on the top shelf. Right here, I got this from the Target Dollar Spot a long time ago and I spray painted it, but it's kind of chipping a bit. Definitely, if you spray paint things, definitely buy a sealer because plastic or metal won't hold, especially if you're crafting supplies because we're putting stuff in and taking stuff out. But it's magnetic, so it's great. These will often come to the Target Dollar Spot. Definitely be on the lookout for those. On top here I have my tiny tiny alphas or alphas that I know I'm going to use a lot. So my metallics like gold, rose gold, silver, black, black and white. That goes there. Right here I have a bunch of these iris cases, what you would call them. Some in 4x6s some in 5x7s and I believe this one back here is an 8x8. All of these are bought at Michael's and I got them all on sale. So I know I bought this one for $1.50 maybe or maybe $2.00. Either way, they're still very, very cheap. Here I just put with some paper, put some clear tape over it, um, what they are so I can quickly grab through it instead of taking out each one and not knowing which. I don't have a label maker, but that is on my birthday list. Okay, so here I have my Maggie Home flowers. So that's all the Maggie Home the Firma pieces that are just flowers go in there. My florals, and these are any other collections that have florals go in there. Floral scraps, so what that is, it's different than florals. These are any scraps that have a floral print on them. Here I have my crepe paper scraps. I needed a special box just for scraps of those. And then I have small scraps of any other collection scraps going there. Journaling. Now here, this I highly recommend if you are a project lifer or if you scrapbook and you use a journaling box, um, definitely get a container and just put a whole bunch of journaling scraps or journaling cards in here. And so whenever you journal, you just take this out and you have a little box that you can trim or it's already trimmed ready to go. Here the last one I have large scraps. This comes in handy when I want to do some layering and I don't want this box to get full. If this box gets full then it's time to do layouts on just scraps. And on this side I have all of my ephemera. I can't remember where this came from, whose idea this was. I think maybe this was just a Scrapaholics Anonymous um, chat that was going on. This is not my original idea but this idea has been used with many scrapbookers so you know it's you get an ephemera like let's say you received one of these you take all the ephemera out make a little tab put it in a cd sleeves you could find these at <laughs> you can find them at walmart you can find them at office depot office max 
any stores with office supplies, they should be there. And these are CD sleeves. And you just put your ephemera in there. And it's awesome because I don't know how many packs of ephemera I have in here. But if they stayed in the original packaging, especially like maybe two years back, a lot of the ephemera packaging would be real boxy like this. So this would take up a lot of space. And look, look how many I have. I don't even know. Didn't even count. It just works out so, so well. I don't have to fuss with the packaging or anything like that. It all is in this little sleeve. And so many can fit. And I obviously have space for more. <laughs> okay, we'll put that back later. This little guy, though... Here I just go on and on talking about the gold basket and how great it is and Michaels doesn't sell anymore. They pretty much got rid of all their metal stuff and now there's just plastic storage. But I try to find one at Walmart or places like that and I can't find one. What's great about this basket is it's not in a V shape, it's straight up and down. So it's great to store sticker books and obviously ephemera. And if you could find one that is just like it, that goes straight up and down, it'll save space in your cart. This side over here, I have Project Life cards that I made, or if I have a cut apart sheet that uh, is for like pocket scrapbooking, then I'll cut it apart and put it in here and organize it by color. But sometimes if there's a specific theme, then I'll put that there. But normally it's by color. In this little basket here, I got this from Walmart. I think they were selling them for $3. Did I get that right? Sometimes they even have them on clearance. I don't know if they have them anymore, but this is from their um, college line, like college dorm room line. All right, anyway, in this basket, I have my six by six paper pads or eight by eight paper pads or other size paper pads, but not 12 by 12 paper pads. <laughs> have them in there. And then in here, in this little box, I have tags, just a whole bunch of tags, and this little box is covered with a Heidi Swap washi tape, and this is actually a iPhone case. Definitely reuse packaging, I'm telling you, and iPhone cases are great. They're great for storing scrapbooking supplies. Right. And that is that cart. So now we're gonna go to this cart. cart. On the top, I kind of just have an assortment of supplies that I need to reach for real quick and I don't want them on top of my desk because this is quite a bit. With here, I got this at the Target Dollar Spot. Sometimes they'll have um, containers like this. I have some acrylic paints and rose gold and gold, white, some mists. I don't know who's that from, but I got it at a art store in, was it Kansas? Kansas City. Some mini Heidi Swap. Sprays, my gold, my white, and tinsel, which I thought was black, but it's not. Uh, my spray bottle. Some tiny, tiny, tiny alphas that a fellow scrapbooker gave to me. My sticker books, recollection sticker book. My password book. <laughs> and then other sticker books going behind that don't fit in here. Here are my pin cups that I got, and I think these are actually just drinking cups from uh, the Target Dollar Spot, but I use them as pin cups. Black and white and gold and silver go in here, and then all the other colors go in here. My glue that needs to be, needs to be standing up, so I put it there. And here, this, it's a case, a case for the MacBook, just repurposed. That, and in here I have some file folders, here I have some white card slot scraps. Uh, if you follow me on YouTube, then you know I use these to put white borders on my photos, so that's easily to grab. And then back here, I have any small clear pockets that I need to add. If I need to add more pockets to a Project Life page. These two containers are also bought from the Target Dollar Spot and I think technically they're so that you could put them on the wall, but mm, here are all some recent scraps that need to be put away, or if I want to do a scrap page, which I think I do, that's why I haven't put them away, they go into this container. And here are all my embellishments, mostly enamel dots, and some gems, and pearls, 
But yeah, all my enamel dots and embellishments. Here, this is my holster and it holds my scissors. I have my fabric scissors, my paper scissors that I use for scrapbooking, and my tiny, tiny scissors. Sometimes my tiny scissors go in here and sometimes they go inside this drawer here, but most of the time they go in here. I got this idea from, uh, I can't remember her name. It's awesome. My thickers were stored in a standing up 12 by 12 case and well I can't get to it right now but anyways they they were just popping out and oh it was just a hassle to go look for them so I needed to think of something else quick and she had a cart like this and this is how she stored her thickers and I tried it and I loved it this is like my favorite way of storing my alphas and my thickers. I highly recommend this if you're looking for a way. So in this container though are my smaller letters are in here and they are sorted by color. And I got this from the Dollar Tree which is pretty awesome because it's super long. And I got this in the kitchen section so um, I think it's for like silverware so it won't move so much. And then all my thickers are sorted here. Pretty awesome, super easy to get to. These tabs, I got them from Tuesday morning. They came in the pack, so those were already made. Yeah, see how easy it is to just get to them. On the bottom here, these containers are from the Dollar Tree. I spray painted them. I have my glitters, loose glitters, my twine. Back here I have just bigger things that don't fit into these like this is my glitter tape yarn and more twine over there and this basket I have some napkins I need to get a container for my napkins and stuff uh, and then these containers I got both of these containers at the Dollar Tree I found this container in the auto like where they have um, tools and I don't know stuff that guy stuff I guess this was in there and I keep my handmade enamel dot. And then in here I have any silhouette or cut numbers there. And that is it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. If you have any questions, if I went too fast and you're like, where did you get that? Definitely leave me a comment. I didn't go really detailed into what I had because that's really not what I wanted to cover, I wanted to cover more of how I organize it and where I got the things that I organize my supplies in. So if you want to see in detail what my stash actually is, <laughs> then yeah, I can do a video on that. It will be quite lengthy, but if y'all want it, I'll do it. Okay, so that's all. My next organization video, I'll show what's on my desk. And I also have this trolley here full of supplies too, so that's something too. So anyways, thanks for watching y'all and I hope this helped. See you next time. Bye!